So hi everybody and welcome back. I've got new toys which arrived today. It will be uh, my next mini quad, quadcopter build. And for that I got something special from Diatone Innovations, which is the Blade 250 Carbon Fiber Edition. That is very similar to the ZMR 250s, which you all know. But I think, in my opinion, even better, even lighter. And that is great. So let's take a look. So what do we have here? It comes with this nice specification. You can see already how it looks. It basically looks like a ZMR250, but an optimized version of it. And it's called the Blade 250. So let's see what this package comes with. It's about the same price on Banggood, for example, as the uh, ZMR250, but it comes with some goodies. You see, <laughs> it comes with some props here. Actually, yeah, actually with two sets of props. So these are these transparent props, which are really nice. So you don't see them when they cut through your fingers. No, sorry. <laughs> they should be fun to fly. It's five uh, times three inch props. They are actually quite stiff. So yeah, I think I will, I will actually even use them. I'm usually only using the HQ props or the Gamfam props, but those look like a nice quality. And then we have here all the goodies for the build. So those we all know from the Satam R builds. I'm not sure about those, but we will all find out once I do the build review video. Then we have the usual nuts here, like for the Satam Rs, the vibration dampers, and yeah, it looks like they are even giving you more of them. <laughs> because usually when I buy the Satam R 250s, I only get four of them. And yeah, yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five, ten of them. But that's nice because, well, they tend to break. Some more screws. And then we all know that. So that's for the camera. And there are actually two pieces of that. So I have to take a look how that works. It looks interesting. And there's also this nice tool here, which is bundled together. So overall it's very nicely packaged. I really like it very much. So from the packaging it's much higher quality than all the Satam R 250s. These are the landing feet. It's very nice. Here we have the actual feet. Uh, sorry. The, the, uh, the actual arms of the quadcopter. Let's take a look at them. These look really nice, nice and and thick. So these are probably just a minute. I will got get something. So and we are back. So these look nice. These are actually yeah three millimeter arms. Really nice, really stiff. So so this really looks nice. And well, you can probably not see it on, on the in the video, but the carbon itself looks it's really nice. You one can see it. It seems to be a good quality, and I can't see how those should break. Really nice. I like it. And here comes the the blades, top and bottom. Let's take a look at those. Those look nice as well. Very stiff. Nothing bad should happen here. Very nice. And there is no, there is nothing else. So that looks really, really nice. We will do some weight measurements here because it is supposed to be much lighter uh, than the Satam R250. The manual says, let's see, for the carbon fiber kit, it's a weight of 90 grams without electronics. 
uh, if I remember correctly for the Satam R250 it's about 130 grams so that's really substantial you can really save something here I will do a quick measurement of the weight for you but I will leave much of that stuff in the back hatch and please bear in mind for example for those you only need four of them and there are ten of them there so the weight will be a bit more than what is given and we will check that let's see the plates it's 11 grams 19 grams 30 grams the feet we have them open already so let's put them there 29 grams, sorry. 38 grams, so you can say 9 grams for each arm. Sorry, I said feet before. 9 grams for each arm. A bit less. Let's see. So we are at 60 grams now. Let's see. Let's put that out. So we are at 63 grams, then we have those feet here, I'm not sure if I will use them, but let's put them on the scales. Okay, we are at 67 grams, so now we have here these, I will just count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. I think we only need, let me take a look at the manual here. We only need 8 of them. So these are, I will open them so that we have a good measurement of weight. So you can actually get 2 more than you need here. This is great. So that I will put those 2 aside. And only put those here which we actually need so we are at 77 gram that looks very nice then we have those nuts I will leave them in the packaging so it will be a bit more than they actually than the actual weight of them is 83 grams and then we have here many 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 screws I'm sure they gave me much more screws than needed as with everything else here so I will just Put all of them here and we are at 99 grams without them <clears throat> we are at 82 grams I'm sure these are way too many let's put this here and then we again have these things here which I don't really know what they are for but we will find out so we are at 102 grams and then of course we need the rubber uh, the vibration dampeners here let's just Take four of them and put them on here on the scales and they have almost no weight. We are at 106 grams. So even I got all the screws on there, we will not need all the screws. So I think the 90 grams, maybe it's not exactly 90 grams as they state here in the manual, but it's very close to it. So I'm pretty sure it comes below 100 grams and that is already 30 grams uh, more lightweight than the Satam R250. So this looks really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to this build. Uh, as you could see, uh, this is all carbon. You didn't see a power distribution board, but luckily you can order this power distribution board separately, which I did. I will show it to you. So that is here. That's the power distribution board, which you can order from DDI. <clears throat> this looks really nice. I will unpack it for you. You can see the power distribution board here with the onboard voltage regulator with 5 volts out and what is important you can see these uh, isolation washers this is what I call them here because you need 
to put them in between those and the PDP uh, in order to prevent any shortcuts because carbon is conductive. conductive. So I will take a close look at that when building it. <coughs> Let's take a look at the distribution board itself. So this comes in at 24 grams and it replaces uh, one of those two plates, I'm not sure which one, I will find out later, so this is 24 grams, this one is 8 grams, so the power distribution board comes at the cost of 16 additional grams, which is quite nice because you have some very clean wiring with this power distribution board. So just to finalize this unboxing, I will quickly show you what I have planned for the components of this build. So I will use these spider ESCs. These are 12 ampere ESCs. They come with Simon K and uh, I have used them in other quadcopter builds and it is absolutely no problem to flash them to support one shot. They work great. They come at a very, very competitive price. I think they are like seven US dollars per piece. Then I will use again the CC3D uh, flight controller. I will probably uh, put clean flight on it. And these are awesome. They only cost 12 USDs and, and, and US dollars and, and they were very, very good. I used them on my tricopters, quadcopters everywhere. Then I will of course again use this uh, FPV set, which I really like. That's the EA Shine FPV set. Please check my videos. I have done several reviews on those. They are nice. And uh, as motors, this time I will use some uh, a bit more uh, powerful motors. These are the Multistar Baby Beast motors. Doesn't say it here. These are uh, 2150 kV motors. I got them cheap from Hobby King, they had a 50% uh, uh, special on them and I also used them in other uh, uh, flying machines and they work really nice, so I will use those. Yes, so that was the unboxing video, I'm really looking forward to this build, looks very nice quality, very high quality product from Diadon Innovations, I'm really looking forward to this. So if you also, uh, also <laughs> if you also like it, if you also look forward to me building this, please subscribe to my channel, please leave a thumbs up, I would be very happy. Well thank you very much and see you next time.